I get yelled at work all the time. I've only been working there for five days now, but every day I've been yelled at at least four times. And it's not just by my boss, but by the people who live where I work. And it's so frustrating to get yelled at when you know if you want to keep the job, you can't yell back at the yellers. But the yellers have a really good reason to yell. They have a triumphant reason to lose their shit. Their reason to lose their shit is a better reason than any of you in the audience has ever had to lose your shit before. They have dementia. When people ask me, now some of you are wondering where you're supposed to laugh when I said dementia. <laughs> Preferably no. But if you're asking that question, I think you should laugh. <laughs> That's okay. I laugh at things that I am uncomfortable with. So by laughing at them, I can acknowledge what I'm uncomfortable at. By laughing when I said dementia, all of you people who laughed are uncomfortable with the idea of losing your mind. When people find out that I work with people who have dementia, they have two common responses. One, I don't mind as much as the other. The other, the second most common response I get, pisses me off. He really gets under my skin. The first one is kind of a compliment. Whoa, you must be a really good person. Thanks. You'd be right if I did it for free. I don't. I'm no volunteer. I still get paid shit for someone with a college degree. If my boss were sitting here tonight in the audience, I know what he would do after he heard me say that I get paid shit for someone who has tons of college loans. He would do this. Because in his head, he is thinking, how emblematic, John Michael, to think you are entitled to everything. It's such a thought your generation has, that they're so special. Where's my generation at? There you go. Comments like that really piss me off because it implies there's something wrong with us. Where's the generations that have come before my generation? I hate those kind of comments because I don't want to be lumped with those people. I mean, I'm unique. The second most common response I get pisses me off so much. It pisses me off even more when people say that there is something wrong with my generation because that means they're criticizing me because I'm a part of my generation even though I don't want to be. I don't have an Instagram. No, what really gets to my nerves is, I mean, it's so hard to explain. We, we have to go to a bar. So let's say we're at a bar, right? And uh, I strike up conversation with someone. What do you do for a living? I'm a garbage man. Oh, what's your most favorite thing about being a garbage man? I like how other people's trash is my treasure. So does that mean you do a lot of crafts with the things you find? No, no. What do you do for a living? I work with people who have dementia. Oh, my mother had dementia and she forgot my name. It was so blah, 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 blah. It's not what he is saying. He is actually saying words. But what I am hearing is blah, 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 because I am so fucking pissed off. Not because 
because his mother has dementia and forgot his name, that's really unfortunate. But because it was my turn! <laughs> Let's go back to the hypothetical garbage man and assume that his mother does not have dementia. So you work with people who have dementia. Does that mean you wipe their butts? <laughs> no, I don't do that. I could never do that. Kind of like how I could never do what you do. What I do is, uh, daily activities for the people who have dementia. So my title is resident engagement assistant. So like I lead a daily walk. We discuss about current events. We do neurobics, which is exercise for your brain. The conversation eventually dies out when he finds out I like it up the butt. <laughs> What can I say? Guilty pleasures! <laughs> Science has shown people who have dementia decline at a slower rate than the average rate of decline because, oh, if, if they are engaged in daily activities throughout the day, which is what my job is. Let's look at the decline of someone with dementia. Here's a graph. <laughs> Usually people with dementia have four and a half years after the diagnosis. Here is when they can still hold a conversation for 15 minutes. Here is when they think they can still hold a conversation for 15 minutes. Here is when they are driving when they definitely should not be driving. <laughs> Here is when they put socks on as gloves because they keep their hands warm. Here is when they wear underwear as a hat. Here is when they put their mac and cheese in their lemonade because it is delicious. Here is when they call me their son when I am not their son. Here is when they call me mommy when I'll never be their mommy. Here's when they call me Mr. Barky Paws. Here's when, when they go away. Here's when the receptionist puts up a rose on the front desk to remember them by. They always use the tackiest roses. My job is to give them more time. <laughs>